Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can transform the sound of your BMW. Now when I say transform the sound, meaning the way it sounds on cold start and also on full throttle, and especially when you pull it in sport mode. So I ain't gonna speak anymore, I'm just gonna show you what I'm going on about. Now a lot of you will be able to simply do this mod to your BMW with ease, and there'll be a lot of you who will have to get your car modified in order to have this. But the modification is very, very cheap. And today I'm gonna to be showing you what I had done on my BMW F20 and what we're gonna be doing today because I've got a code and I just wanna eliminate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this mod that will change the sound and also the performance of your BMW. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys, if you can see here, underneath on the back box of the exhaust, you'll see how I'm on the tailpipe. You'll see there's a holding bracket right here. Now, if you'll see, also, you'll see there's a welded portion right here where my finger is you'll see it right here on top here now this right there is the exhaust valve on your bmw now on the newer bmws especially on the m55 um, and a lot of cars um, from 2011 onwards had exhaust flaps in the exhaust now what the exhaust valve actually does is help to aid faster cold starts and also to get the engine up to temperature very quickly because what ends up happening when you first start the car the valve is actually closed now the valve is closed until the engine warms up which keeps all that pressure running back into the engine to help the warm-up cycle start up very very quickly and also warm up your car and then once the engine gets warm the valve actually opens now a lot of people say that the valve is actually shut unless you actually plant your foot on the throttle or you pull it in sport mode and then the valve becomes open but in eco mode the valve will be shut to maintain as much economy as possible i.e fuel and air mixture so that way you get the best miles per gallon now what someone has done here previously before i actually got it they actually welded the exhaust valve open and if you can see here the module's actually missing now what's actually happening is i'm getting a fault code for um this module not being in place and it's saying that the exhaust valve is permanently open so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to put the module back on and so it the connector at least knows it's there so i stop getting the fault code now since i've actually updated the car the fault code has actually gone away but i don't want it to come back now i believe you do have to reset the exhaust flap in ista to make it read again so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to plug it back up and it should readjust itself now the exhaust flap it's all a matter of opinion so i'm going to go ahead and show you how it's opened up and i'm going to stick a light in there so you guys can actually see it fully open and the way it's meant to actually turn actually shut and i'm going to show you how this exhaust valve actually works on these cars now this isn't just for the m55 even the b58s a lot of cars have this i.e the golf far the audi s3s a lot of cars nowadays will have exhaust flaps it's also to maintain as much of the turbo pressure in the exhaust that way you get more power to the engine i.e if the valves close all that back pressure is going to go back into the engine which is going to create massive amounts of boost in the engine but with the exhaust valve open all that pressure is being lost therefore you're losing a lot more power as well but i'm going to go ahead and show you how the valve is actually stuck open so if you'll see in there guys you can barely just see the valve right inside the exhaust there and if you'll see it's fully wide open and that's because it's been welded to stay open like that you can see the valve right there my one is open wide and that's what a lot of people want to have not only that it is very quiet on cold start this actually gives the sport sound without the need of the exhaust valve actually opening when it chooses now also the exhaust valve which goes here is a known common problem the pin comes loose and it can end up causing flapping sound when it's opening and closing so a lot of people either spread the pin out or you buy a new pin and the actuators do go bad 
when these cars were first released it was quite expensive for the actuator it was around 150 pound and that's why a lot of people chose to weld it open because they believed the car actually sounded better with the exhaust valve open then closed so i'm going to go ahead and just reconnect all the module up but i'm not going to reconnect the pin but i'll show you the pin that you would need if you're actually missing this but if you are missing this it means the exhaust valve has been welded open and therefore you don't actually have to do that but you will have a code stored in ISTA. Um, it won't show an engine management light without the module but you will end up with an error in the DME system that the flap cannot be open it will be a permanent one that's because the module is missing so I'm going to go ahead and bolt the module back up. So you'll see here this is the exhaust actuator now if you can see it's computer controlled by that connector right there and what happens is when it's on the exhaust the pin will be something like that and if you get the idea of what happens the computer will open it and close it and it will turn the exhaust valve open and closed as the computer requests this is the pin that you will insert on the exhaust valve flapper and like i say the actuator controls it opens it close it but these pins do become loose over time they're quite strong now but over time they become loose and a lot of people do just stretch them out to make them bigger to make them open the exhaust valve but a lot of people do just take them off because they become a common problem now these are the hex screws right here for the exhaust actuator as well these are t30 bolts um, you might have 10 mil bolts on yours just when you actually change it um, just be careful of that that you might not have torx 30s you don't want to end up using the wrong tool um, to remove this but these exhaust actuators you can pick up now for around 60 to 70 pound um, i'm going to be putting this back on just because i don't want that light there obviously it's not going to do nothing because the exhaust flap is welded but i'm just putting it back just for the sake of it so the dme doesn't show the code in this stuff now the pin itself is actually useless because we've got it welded so it can't go on the flapper itself therefore i'm not going to be putting the pin on so if you'll see here this is the bracket we're going to be bolting it back up and the connector should be somewhere around here just want to get the connector which is here which is tucked away underneath now most people might wrap these up in um tape just so that way they don't get wet or soaked that's the connector right there that goes into the actual actuator so what we're going to go ahead and do is move that here while we pop back on now you will get a heat plate also for where the actuator is going to go on and you just want to make sure you position it correctly so it'll go something like that now to get it in position what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to lock it in position like that and it usually holds in position while you put the bolts in now you just want to pull it like that it's very very simple to do okay guys so now we've tightened that finally down and my best advice is not to use a ratchet with bit with a Torx 30 bit try and use a Torx 30 allen key because this bolt over the back here is very very hard to get to and a Torx 30 bit on a ratchet will not reach there because if you can see the chassis is very close to that bolt so you will not get it in now I managed to tighten them all up with a Torx 30 allen key bit and now they're all super tight you can see the connectors all plugged back in but that is the easiest way to tighten them down because you just can't do it with a ratchet and a Torx 30 bit therefore do use a Torx 30 allen key bit so if you just use something like this to um, tighten them up this is the best tool to get in there it will take a lot longer than a ratchet but at the same time um, it can easily tighten them up and it will take a bit more time but as I said it's easier to get into and you'll be able to reach every bolt with ease but the actuator is now back on so that should now clear the code okay guys so as you've seen now i've now shown you how you can get a better sound on your bmw for literally free just by removing the exhaust flap or the exhaust flap actuator now many of you will not have the exhaust flap on your bmw but majority of m55s do have this exhaust flap so just go and check on your exhaust if you've actually got it. As you would have seen, it is positioned on the left side, which is my passenger side, the exhaust valve actuator. 
Now, if you're in the US, it will be on the same side also, which will be your driver's side for the actuator. So just go and check if you've actually got that. And many of you, there's many videos out there showing you how to do it. Like I said, you can easily just pull the actuator when the revs are being held high by someone else, or you can have it welded shut, or you can make it stay open by other means as well. There's loads of different ways to make it actually sound more sporty and much, much better. You guys just need to find the way for your exhaust. You might get lucky, you might already have one with the flap already welded open like this one already was and I don't know why it already had that already done. Maybe someone already had problems with it or maybe someone just wanted the more better exhaust note in the sport, in the sport mode. But either way, it does sound proper, this car with the valve opened uh, much better than with the exhaust valve closed. Now a lot of you are gonna ask me, is the exhaust constantly loud? Now, no, it's not. It's only loud on cold start, but once the engine warms up, it actually comes quiet like the exhaust valve is actually shut. Therefore, if you do want to do this mod, I do recommend to do it because then that way you've always got the sport performance noise coming from the exhaust. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video and I hope now I've shown you where the exhaust actuator is. Many of you guys can go and sort it yourself and hopefully get the same exhaust sound that I've got on mine. So thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.